We are getting new details by the hour on a traffic stop that turned deadly in York County. It happened this morning on Fort Eustace Boulevard between Rich Neck Road and Route 17, a very busy area. Authorities say what started as an accident investigation quickly escalated when the man in the car pulled a gun on a deputy. Ten of your side was first to break this news. Matt Gregory got to look at body cam video. He joins us now live from York County with what it revealed. Matt, what did you see? Nicole, right now the sheriff is not going to be releasing that video to the public. It's part of an ongoing investigation. But he did show 10 on your side the video. And what that video shows is the harrowing last moments of Damian Harrell as he led up to what led up to the deadly police shooting earlier this morning. Who would imagine that at 6.30 in the morning as you're on your way uh, to the upper end of the county probably to get breakfast that you were encounter an armed felon who wants to kill you. York Pocosin deputies began the morning investigating a single car accident. A white crown Victoria had spun off Fort Eustis Boulevard and sat in the median. 200 yards down the road, deputies found Damian Harrell. To me, he was not being completely honest. It looked like he was hiding something, but no deputy was aware of his that he was wanted nor of his cr previous criminal history. Uh, as far as they knew, they were dealing with an individual who was maybe had a suspended driver's license. But when this turned deadly, even Sheriff Diggs got a first-hand look. All of our officers, all of our uniformed patrol people and some people up at the courthouse as well wear body cams. We actually uh, investigated the possibility of body cams uh, before the Ferguson incident. The sheriff won't release the video to the public, but he did show it to 10 on your side. You see Harold sit on a guardrail and a deputy asks him if he'd want a pat down. Harold says no, and then a few minutes after. The individual uh, went for a gun. The deputy defended himself, uh, shot at the suspect, hitting him. Uh, eventually, the, the suspect was transported to the hospital and died there. The entire incident captured on camera, but did the deputy follow correct protocol? According to Sheriff Diggs, yes. This was an uh, armed and dangerous uh, convicted felon who had a what could have been a casual encounter with law enforcement officers, and you saw that unprovoked, he produced a firearm and attempted to kill a deputy sheriff. There was one other man at the scene with Harold, according to the sheriff. He says that man was taken to the hospital after he was tased for trying to run towards Harold as the shots rang out. Right now, that man is not going to be charged with anything, according to the sheriff, but that could change. In York County, Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.